In this tech tip, I will demonstrate how to build the center shock absorber for the X1222. It's the same shock absorber that's been on the X12 for a few years. So this tech tip is not only useful for X1222 users, but also for X1221 and prior platform owners. So let's take these parts out of the bag and see what we have here. The spring that comes in the kit is a C2.8 rating spring, which is a bit stiffer than springs that come in the X12 kits in the past. So this was already the, the standard spring for the X12 21, but it's still the standard spring for the 22 car. And it's stiffer for the reason that since we went to use solid axles as standard, the car just seemed to handle better with a stiffer center spring for the reason that it's more responsive, it's got more on-power steering, and it's overall more balanced uh, with the use of a solid axle when you use a stiffer center spring. So you actually have the option to, to use an even, stiff, even stiffer spring in the C3.1 spring, which is our next step, the four dot spring. This is the, the three dot spring that comes in the kit. With a four dot spring, you'll have more on power steering and even better steering response, mainly recommended for high grip situations. But in the kit, it's the best all around choice, the 2.8 spring. Let's take these parts of the mold tree here. Take these aluminium parts apart. Okay, take these plastic parts off this tree here. It's the little, little piston and the bottom seal of the shock here. Okay, that's done. So, first of all, we're gonna install the piston onto the shock shaft. So we use these tiny E-clips here. Push these onto the shock shaft. I usually push these against the board like this. Using my finger, just push them against the board. Use the board as a leverage to push the E-clips onto the shock shaft. And then the shock piston onto there. And then the other E-clip on top. Pop this in place. And then we are gonna install the little O-ring into the bottom of the shock body. Before I do that, I'm gonna soak it in silicone oil. So the kit comes with a 450 CST shock oil. This is a good all-around setting, a good basic setting for most tracks. But of course, you can fine-tune the damping um, depending on what kind of handling you want from the car. So if you want the car to have less roll, less weight transfer from front to rear, you can go to a heavier shock oil. This will make the car less nervous, especially off power. It will increase on power steering, but the feeling will be that the car has a bit less traction. So in general, 450 is the best all around setting, but you can go to 500, for example, if you feel that the car is transferring too much weight from front to back, um, which especially can be a problem on very high grip tracks. But it's usually within the range of 400 to 500 uh, when it comes to the shock oil for the X1222. Let's soak this oil, this O-ring in oil like this. Put 
put it into the strong body. Then we'll put the little bottom seal on top of it. And then we thread this bottom shock cap on. And put the shock shaft in. Make sure that it's moving freely with minimum friction. You can actually thread the spring nut onto the shock body like this. If this is moving too freely, if you feel that there's not enough resistance here, you can actually add a drop of medium strength tread lock to the shock body to reduce this um, freeness of the nut. Then we pull the shock shaft all the way down, we fill it up, Fill it all the way up. Pull the shock shaft up and down a few times to release the shock bubbles that are trapped underneath the piston. And we're then gonna utilize the air vac. The hoodie airbag tool that looks like this. I'm gonna put the shock inside of it. Close it. I'm gonna hook this up to a battery. Two cell battery will do just fine. You can hook this up to a power supply as well for the uh, strongest possible vacuum effect but you can actually use a two cell battery and it's perfectly fine. So you seal this in the top and start the vacuum. You can do this for between 20 to 30 seconds to suck all the air bubbles out. See the air bubbles getting released already. We'll let this rest for a second. This speeds up the process so you don't have to let the shark sit and uh, wait for the air bubbles to get released with an air bag. You can release the air bubbles much quicker and in a more convenient fashion. Okay, so we can disconnect this now. Then, Open the top of the airbag to release the vacuum. Take this off, and as we can see, we have no air bubbles left in the shock. Put this aside, and we can then install the shock bladder on top. Shock bladder is very small and soft, so be careful that you don't push this too far into the shock body. You can tap it with a screwdriver, just tap it in place to release the excess oil around the bladder. Gently tap it in place. And 
and then when it's seated well into the shark body like that, you put the top cap on. the threaded piece on top of the shark body and with the vent hole to the top we thread this on so keep in mind the orientation of the the vent hole here shock shaft should be around halfway in when you do this so any excess oil will be released through the vent hole here Don't over tighten the top nut because if you do, you'll squash the bladder and you'll push it into the shock body, which will result in a very poor um, damping action. So now we have around 50% of rebound, as you can see here. Shock shaft doesn't protrude, protrude more than halfway when it's uh, when it's rebounding which is what we want then I'm gonna install the spring but first we need to install the little collar here the spring retaining collar with the ball cap. Make sure that you thread this on straight here. We're going to talk about um, the effect of the shock length and how it influences the droop of the, the rear suspension later on. But for now, I'm just going to install this on the car. Tighten this set screw down tightly because if this gets loose most most surely it will mean that it will come out and you'll have a DNF and you will not be able to finish your run and that concludes the shock build tech tip for the X1222